Happy Sunday, LTWC family and friends. We are so glad that you are joining us this morning. Y'all already know, we are always hashtag technically together. If this is your first time joining us, welcome. We would love to get connected with you. Text LTWC to the number below on the screen. If you're in person, you have a QR code that's right in front of you, or you can head out to our lobby and get connected with someone at our connection table and learn all things LTWC. If you have been wanting to join our LTWC family, Super Session is around the corner. It kicks off August 15th and it's full of jam-packed virtual events that consist of video, Zoom, and in-person events where you can connect with our LTWC leaders and learn about our vision, where we're going, where we're headed, and ask questions. Sign up on the Church Center app on August 15th, or you can click the link below. LCWC fam, the word says, some things only come through fasting and praying. Pastor has created pop-up prayer nights that will happen here at LCWC for the next three nights. Starting tomorrow at 6.30 p.m., we will gather here at LTWC and we will fast and pray. On Tuesday night, bring your children. We'll be praying over your children. Let's anoint them and cover them in prayer as they gear up for the next school year. Wednesday, join us for worship and communion. Don't forget to set your alarm starting tomorrow at 6.30 p.m. Come and join us as we gather in prayer and prepare our hearts for how God is going to move in this next season. Pastor is always pushing us to grow, which I believe is so dope. So for the month of August, we will be reading and studying Miracles Today by Craig Keener. We also have two in-person sessions that will kick off on August 17th and August 24th here at LTWC at 6.30 p.m. We have a few copies that you can purchase right outside the lobby in our bookstore, or you can purchase it online as your favorite retailer. This is open to everyone, everyone. So tell your friends. Beginnings are hopeful and hard. When we launched out to expand our resource of space, it was with great joy and excitement. We had been renting for seven years in a drab space, a space that didn't match our desire for God's kingdom, but we were faithful. We sold big vision and walked in excellence in spite of all the setbacks, obstacles, and barriers. The pressure mounted, the anxiety swelled, the trepidation amplified. Beginnings are hard. Vision is being able to see what you need to see in spite of what you don't see. Henry Ford said vision without execution is just a hallucination. Hopeful beginnings are accompanied by harsh realities. Realities like, will this work? Is this God? What if I fail? Is at these critical moments you must plan well and pray abundantly. We did both. Did I tell you beginnings are hard? Okay, I did. But beginnings are hard alone. But you all made the beginning become a completed task because we did it together. We went from a drab building with lots of setbacks to a place we can call home. Let's not stop here, my brothers and sisters. Let's move swiftly towards phase two, the gym and a second campus. Oh, am I talking about vision again? I'm asking you to continue your pledges, finish your pledges, and sow a sacrificial seed towards our next project. Phase two is calling. This is your girl, Britt, signing off with your Sunday announcements. I pray that you have an amazing week and that you join us starting tomorrow night for pop-up prayer night.